Hey Blenderheads, in today's tip I'll show you how to create this animated film grain effect using only Eevee. The first thing we want to do is snap the 3D cursor to the camera and add a plane. We copy the rotations and move it so it's just in front of the camera. and parent it so it stays in place. And that's all the modeling we're doing. Let's work on the material now. Remove the principal shader and add a mix, emission and a transparent shader. You'll notice that we're not getting any transparency yet, that's because we have to enable it in the material settings. Let's add a noise node to control the mix. Set it to 4D so we can animate it and plug the object coordinates in. Set the scale to something like 100 and also add a bit of distortion. Next, add a color ramp to control the contrast. And squeeze it a little bit. Now, to add more detail, we'll need to mix in more noise. Duplicate the noise node, double the scale and lower the distortion. And we can mix these two by multiplying them. I also like to throw in some white noise for more variation. We can make it 2D for better performance since we are applying it to a plane. Finally, we can reuse one of the noises to color the emission shader, so it fits better with the scene. Add another color ramp. Pick some colors from the scene and brighten them up. Alright, time to animate this thing. Add a value node and plug it into the W coordinates of the 4D noises. Then open the animation tab and the graph editor. going to add only one keyframe and then handle everything with animation modifiers. First, add a noise modifier and set the scale to 50. Then add a step interpolation with a step size of 10. This will make it change every few frames instead of every frame. You can tweak this too to change the animation however you like. One last thing, you'll notice the plane is now blocking the camera view in solid mode and we can't see a thing. We can fix this by lowering the alpha of the viewport display of the material. Just leave a little opacity so the plane can be seen and disable the selection toggle so you can select things through it. This doesn't affect rendered mode, so the noise is still visible. Alright, hope you enjoyed this one. Go crazy with this material. See you next time, guys.